Happy Friday, Falcons. I'm Maddie. And I'm Courtney, and we have an amazing show for you. Yep, today we have a feature about an animal shelter, entertainment, keeping up with Casper. And Courtney, what else are we going to have? We're going to have weather, sports, announcements, and ASB update. And Falcon TV starts right now. Welcome back to another show, Falcons. Did you know that falcons are one of the fastest animals? Really? Well, my favorite animal is still a dog. Same. It's so sad to see that some of them don't have homes. I know, right? Let's see how animals can be changed with a story by Samantha and Adriana. Changing animals' lives one person at a time. Where the paws of today meet the promise of a brighter future, come with us into the beautiful world of an animal shelter, where people give their selfless dedication of love and come together to transform the lives of humans and our four-legged companions. I'm the PR and communications manager at Helen Woodward Animal Center, so I like to tell my friends my entire job is to hold puppies on TV and tell people how great they are. I like working here. Just knowing that my work helps make her life better, it's like really rewarding and it's it makes you feel good about yourself when you go help. Despite all of the adopting related things you can do here, there are also many programs that you might not even heard of. We have 14 programs here at Helen Woodward Animal Center. We have adoptions, which is, you know, the most, the, the, the biggest one uh, that, you know, everyone knows. We have our education program, which is very integral to the mission of Helen Woodward. So education is very important to us. And then uh, we also have our therapeutic writing program. So my favorite story from that is one of our clients. Uh, she was like six years old and nonverbal autistic. Within one year of our therapeutic writing program, she started talking. We also have Anna Meals, which is probably one of our best programs, I think, honestly, because what that does is we go around to people in the San Diego community who need help. All in all, the Helen Woodard Animal Shelter has given us a better understanding of their program and what they do to help the animal community. He explains that he is passionate for his job and the animals and that he has high hopes for the animals' futures. The people here are changing the animals' lives by one person at a time. With camera operator Samantha Price, this is Adriana Ferreira reporting for Falcon TV. Wow, seeing all of those animals was really entertaining. Agreed. Animal shelters are super fun to watch. Let's see what else is entertaining this week. There's news about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Really? Ooh, what is it? Well, basically, Taylor was caught on camera running to Travis Kelsey, and they kissed. Oh, that's so cute. I knew that would happen. I know, right? And in one of her concerts while she was singing her song, Karma, she changed one of the lyrics from Karma's The Guy on the Screen to Karma's The Guy on the Chiefs. <laughs> no way. Did she actually do that? I can't believe it. Neither did the crowd. It happened after her show on Saturday, the pop superstar running off the stage and into Kelsey's arms, planting a kiss on his lips in full view of her fans. Swifties screaming their approval on social media. The singer even changing the lyrics of her Grammy-nominated hit song, Karma, to reflect her current romance with the Super Bowl champion. The newest Chief Swift fan adorably holding his face in response and Swifties shrieking in glee. Swift's dad enjoying the moment as well. Wow, I also heard that Taylor is getting nominated for his sixth Grammy Award, which is breaking records. Hey, and speaking of music, I heard that our school band recently had a concert. Let's see how it went. So let's do this rapid fire. Some big movies releasing include Trolls Band Together and the Disney movie Wish, and there's a new Hunger Games movie. 
Let's spotlight some less well-known releases with Fallen Leaves, Next Goal Wins, and Genie. Rapid Fire Round over. Well, in my opinion, movies that star Adam Sandler are the best. Well, that's good for you that a few days ago was Adam Sandler Day. Yeah, and a bunch of people dressed up. Let's go to Keeping Up with Casper to see what they wore. Happy Friday, Falcons. Catch Schofield here. Let's see what type of costume you guys put together for Adam Sandler Day. <laughs> What Adam Sandler movie are you from? Murder Mystery! What Adam Sandler movie are you from? Murder Mystery 2. I didn't really do one, I just... Adam Sandler. Who are you from? I, I got these clothes in my dad's closet, I don't know. What Adam Sandler movie are you from? All of the above. Sandler getting coffee in the morning. Mm, I don't know. Do it, alright. What Adam Sandler movie are you from? A hubby Halloween. What Adam Sandler movie are you from? Hustle. What Adam Sandler movie are you from? I don't know. Grown up. What Adam Sandler movie are you from? I didn't know he made movies. Okay, that's what good. Are you saying? Yeah. No, I didn't. No, say the question again. Adam Sandler movie are you from? <laughs> you ready? Give me an Adam Sandler movie. <laughs> um, help me out here, bro. Okay. Well, Falcons, I could barely tell the difference between those costumes and the real Adam Sandler. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Casper. Those are some cool outfits. Yes, I love Adam Sandler. Me too. But I would need to wear a jacket because it's getting really cold out. Yeah, let's go to the weather so we can plan out what we're going to wear this week. Hello, Falcons. Welcome back to the weekly weather report. showers. This weekend the lows are in the 40s and the low 50s. Wow, it's really starting to feel like the colder months. For sure. This weekend we'll have a high of 68 degrees. It'll feel so nice to have some cold breezes. Yup, now to the surf. This whole week we'll have waves about 2 to 3 feet. The lowest is going to be 1 foot and the highest will be 3. That sounds perfect. Hey, I can't wait for Thanksgiving. Me too. Yeah, turkey day is going to be the bomb. I heard the weather is going to be 70 de degrees. That's perfect weather. Now back to the anchors. Thanks Olivia and Dylan. That was super helpful. You know what else would be helpful? Knowing what's happening in the sports world. I agree. Let's go take a look. Hello, Falcons. Welcome back to the sports update. Let's hop into it. I'm bummed that the MLB season is over. Same, but did you hear the MLB announce their gold and platinum glove winners? Oh, I didn't. Who are some of the highlights? Well, for one, the Padres' ha Sung Kim becomes the first Korean player to win a gold glove for the Padres. That's exciting. He certainly deserves it. And Fernando Tatis won a platinum glove for his outstanding fielding. Well, that's expected. He has a good arm. In NBA news, the in-season tournament continues and has some great games this weekend. For one, the Philadelphia 76ers are facing off against the Hawks and the Denver Nuggets travel to New Orleans to play the Pelicans. What do you think the chances of the Pelicans win that? Small chance. Not in the in-season tournament. The Dallas Mavs go to Milwaukee to play the Bucks. That game is definitely a must-watch for anyone following basketball this year. This week also has some intriguing NFL action. That's right, Dylan. Here are some of the games you should look out for. On Sunday, the Raiders play the Dolphins and the Bills play the Jets. Those games are good, but by far the guess the best game, in my opinion, is the Eagles playing the Chiefs. What a game. I've got the Eagles taking that one, though. Are you kidding? Patrick Mahomes will throw so many touchdowns, it won't even be close. Anyway, with the NFL out of the way, let's get into this week's college football games. And man, there are some great ones. On Saturday, historic rivals UCLA and USC play with the victory bell on the line. Also, the 16th ranked Utah played uh, 19th ranked Arizona, who is on a crazy winning streak. But that's not the only important Pac-12 game this weekend. In a massive clash up north, number 5 Washington plays number 10 Oregon State in Corvallis. Also, top range Georgia heads to Rocky Top to play number 21 Tennessee. I'll definitely be tuning in for that. There's also some good NHL action happening today. Yeah, tonight the Maple Leafs play the Red Wings and the Sabres play the Jets. And the Panthers play the Ducks. Now let's start to the pitch for some soccer, international soccer news. Since the international break is currently underway, England plays Malta in the Euro qualification today at 11.45 on Fox Sports 1. England definitely has that one. Also for the fans of El Tri, Mexico plays Honduras in the Nations League today at 6 p.m. on TUDN and Paramount+. Plus. Mexico better not fumble that one. Also, USA plays Trinidad and Tobago Monday at 4 p.m. on TNT. Other broadcasters are TBD. I bet that the USA will destroy them. I fully agree with that statement. Now let's hear about this week's UFC matchup. UFC Fight Night is on Saturday afternoon with Brendan Allen and Paul Craig facing off at 2 p.m. They have both won their last matchup, so it will definitely be a close match. That's it for the sports update. Now back to the anchors. Oh my God. Thanks, Michael and Dylan. Those matchups are crazy. Courtney... Who do you want to win, the Panthers or the Ducks? Definitely not the Ducks. Hey, 
That's not kind. You know what else is not kind? Bullying. Let's go to Emmett and Zach to stop the hate. School is a place where everyone should feel that they belong. However, bullying has made some kids hesitant and even scared to go to school. According to the CDC, kids are five to six times more likely to skip school if they are bullied. Unfortunately, frequent bullying has been observed here at ALMS. Probably every day, there's at least two or three incidents that we are aware of of, of students being unkind. However, there are most likely many more unreported incidents. There's probably a lot more instances of people being unkind at school. While you might not have seen bullying at AOMS, it certainly is a huge problem. Bullying can be as simple as name calling or taunting, which many people don't realize. And it's important to remember that most bullying happens in a way that others can't see. I have not observed in a particular incident where I think um, there's been a bullying situation. However, some bullying can be observed by others. If you watch this type of bullying or observe it, you should do something about it. We're building a culture where students, if they see something, they say something. One of the biggest impacts we can make is to stand up to the aggressor of the bullying. It's about telling an adult and being an upstander, right? Not a bystander who just stands by and watches. Overall, bullying is an issue at AOMS, but there are steps we can take to prevent this. The counselors, teachers, and school staff are always here to help. We need to stop the hate. With camera operator Zachary Ross, this is Emmett Conkey reporting for Falcon TV. See, Courtney? We can all learn a little something from that. We can also learn updates about our school from Gunnar and Ashley. Happy Friday, Falcons. I'm Gunnar with your weekly announcements. On Friday the 1st marks the start of the pet donation drive, and that ends on the 14th. Also starting on the 1st is the Holiday Candy Grams. They end on the 13th. Next week is Thanksgiving break. That means we got the week off from school to celebrate the holiday. Hope you have a fun break, Falcons. And now to Ashley with our ASP update. Thanks, Gunnar. Hi, I'm Ashley and I'm here with... Michaela And... Carolyn. We, ha we have donated over 700 items to the food drive. Thank you. Wow, that's so amazing. So what are you guys doing over Thanksgiving break? My grandparents are coming into town. I'm going to Arizona. Sounds like you both are going to have a lot of fun. So what fun, what fun is stored for us when we get back? Starting December 1st, we have a door decorating contest, so start planning now. We're also having a pet drive so we can collect donations for the local pet shelters. Through December 1st through 15th, we will be selling holiday grams. Um, send a nice note and candy cane to a friend. Buy a holiday candy gram for $1.50 or $1 with an Ainsby sticker. Sounds like we're going to have a great week next week. Now, let's go back to the anchors. Thanks, Ashley. Well, that's it for this show, Falcons. We'll, we'll see, see you next time on Falcon TV. TV.